Let's answer the question, if Jesus is God, why is he called the Son of God? As people read the Bible, sometimes they get confused because they read about the fact that Jesus called himself the Son of God. This is confusing because the Bible also teaches that Jesus is God. And so, if Jesus is God, how can he also be God's Son? It makes sense why this can be confusing, but it really doesn't have to be that confusing at all. Part of the problem is that when we think of the words Father and Son, we think of them in human terms. But the Bible isn't saying that the relationship between God the Father and God the Son is like a human relationship between Father and Son. You see, God doesn't have a wife and have actual physical children. God didn't mate with Mary and produce Jesus. That's not what the Bible says. So why is Jesus called the Son of God? What does it mean that he's God's Son? Well, let's look at some Bible verses to help us understand. John 1.14 The Word became flesh and made his dwelling among us. We have seen his glory, the glory of the one and only Son, who came from the Father full of grace and truth. John 1 is telling us that Jesus, the Word, became flesh to reveal God for us. When we see the glory of Jesus, we are actually looking at the glory of God. This is the same thing that Hebrews 1 says. Hebrews 1.3, The Son is the radiance of God's glory and the exact representation of his being. Look at what this verse says about Jesus. He is the radiance of God's glory. He shows us the glory of God. How is that possible? It's possible because Jesus is the exact representation of God's being. God is of the same being, the same substance of the Father. Jesus is on equal terms with God the Father because he is God himself. Interestingly, this is exactly how Jesus' enemies understood what he was saying. Look at John 5.18. So the Jewish leaders tried all the harder to find a way to kill him. For he not only broke the Sabbath, he called God his Father, thereby making himself equal with God. When Jesus refers to himself as the Son of God, and when the rest of the Bible refers to him as the Son of God, it's not saying that Jesus is God's literal Son. It's saying that Jesus is equal with God the Father. So why is Jesus called the Son of God? He's called the Son of God because he reveals God to us. Jesus shows us what God is like in flesh and bone. He is the physical representation of the invisible God. He is also called the Son of God because he is equal with God. By referring to himself as the Son of God, Jesus was putting himself on the same level as God the Father. They are equal. When Jesus is called the Son of God, it's not telling us that Jesus is less than God. It's not telling us that Jesus is a created being. Really, the title Son of God is one of the powerful arguments from the Bible that demonstrates that Jesus is God. Go ahead and pause the video and discuss some of these questions about the fact that Jesus is the Son of God.